And we'll tell you about the dinosaurs that had a very bad day 66 million years ago. Well, I want to tell you now about the theory that dinosaurs were wiped out by a huge asteroid colliding with Earth over 66 million years ago could soon be proved. For the first time, scientists may have found direct evidence of a dinosaur that died in the immediate aftermath. Now, a tiny fragment of the asteroid itself may also have been found at a secret site in North Dakota in the United States. It's been nicknamed Tanis. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, has more. It was the most cataclysmic day in our planet's history. 66 million years ago, an asteroid seven miles across slammed into the Earth. The age of the dinosaurs was over. Now, a mass graveyard unearthed in North Dakota could contain the first evidence of creatures killed on that day. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look, Look at, that. at that. Look, the Holy scales crap. are preserved. In the crumbling rock, animals, plants and trees are tangled together frozen in time like a prehistoric Pompeii. We've got so many details with this site that tell us what happened moment by moment. It's almost like watching it play out in, in the, uh, the movies. We're able to see what happened within that first hour or so after impact. And that's the front row seat to one of the most amazing events of the Cretaceous. Despite all of the dinosaurs discovered and displayed in museums, they don't tell the full story. The dinosaurs here were found all around the world and they span their entire 180 million year reign on the planet. It's widely accepted that this domination came to an end when the asteroid struck, but there's a mystery. No one's ever found direct evidence of a dinosaur killed by the impact or even a fossil dinosaur that died within 1,000 years of it. Now though, a discovery at Tanis may have changed that. There's something here. That's hard. More bone. That's bone right next to the skin. This is the moment a dinosaur's leg was discovered, captured by a BBC documentary crew. The fossil belongs to a small plant-eating dinosaur called a Thessalosaur. The team thinks it died in a huge flash flood set off by shockwaves from the asteroid strike. This looks like an animal whose leg has simply been ripped off really quickly. There's no evidence on the leg of disease. There are no obvious pathologies. There's no trace of the leg being scavenged. This could be the first bit of dinosaur ever found that died as a direct result of being involved in the cataclysm that occurred after the meteorite hit. Tanis is 2,000 miles away from where the asteroid struck. But what links the two are these tiny beads scattered amongst the fossils. It's thought they're remnants of molten rock thrown up by the impact, which rained back down as glass droplets. Inside one may be something even more remarkable, a fragment of the asteroid itself. We were able to identify the composition of that material. All the evidence, all of the chemical data from that study suggests strongly that we're looking at a piece of the impactor, the asteroid, that ended it for the dinosaurs. These discoveries now need to be submitted to the scientific community for scrutiny. But the team says they've only scratched the surface and there's much more of this lost world waiting to be revealed. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News. Fascinating stuff there.